Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Gymfluencers UK. The gin we're trying today is Willem Berentz. Oh, there you go. Berentz Gin was founded by entrepreneur Michael Clausens in 2016, I had to get that right, and named after Dutch explorer William Berentz. Willem Berentz, anyway. Berentz Gin is a handcrafted gin distilled from unique marriage of golden rye and winter wheat grain. Ooh. The botanicals include jasmine, juniper, orange peel, coriander seeds, almonds, licorice, angelica root, cassia bark, and orris root. It comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 43% and costs around 31 pounds. That's amazing. That's good. Today I'll be making a classic gin and tonic and garnishing with a twist of orange. We've got it behind me. Yep. As always, we're trying it neat first, so let's get to it. Normally it's here. It's, it's normally there, but I put it behind me. Um, Right, we have to admit, we've tried this before. Um, not we just... were introduced to it by mistake. Yes. In, in a, a bar that we go to, and um, we fell in love with it. Instantly. Instantly. Yeah, instantly. Um, there we go. You can but it has, been, it has been a while since we've had it. It, ha it has been a little while, but we thought we'd share it with, with you guys. Um, it's, it's extraordinary. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's... it's it's a very, it's such a tasty gin. And also, it, it just brings back such good memories, having such a good, a good night that evening, and it was a very drunken evening. Love your little private members club we went to. Oh, it was, it was brilliant. It was very good. Right. Cheers. Oh, Initially, slow. you don't, see, I don't get much of the smell. I don't get much yeah. of the smell. I just smell freshness. 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 Um, yeah, I, I, it's just very alcoholic for me. Oh. But then when you taste <laughs> it's it. It's such a good taste. Right, when you taste So in the summer, when you get, you, you know, those jasmine bushes and you walk past them or you're in a garden, you smell them, you get that hit of jasmine and it is really intense. And that is what you get from this. You get a kind of sharpness behind it as well. But fundamentally it is, it is like a, a summer's evening, mm. an early summer's evening with, with all that kind of beautiful jasmine. It is, I mean, it's so, there's unmistakably jasmine. Yeah. Right. And and the weird thing is- But it's the, not sickly. No, 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 it's not no. sickly. And it's, it, because it's not like loads and loads of different kind of flowers in there, it's jasmine, it's one flower. So it's floral, but it's only floral on kind of that jasmine level, that kind of and, perfume. And I, I'm not mad about floral gins. No. Right, I am sort of going down that route as well now, but this is beautiful. It really is yeah. like, and that's the first time we've had it neat though, isn't it? It is, we didn't We didn't try it neat. We, we just basically went through the gin shelf in this in this um, club and we were like, right, okay, that one, that one, that one. And when we got to this one, I was like- you stuck on that after I was like, like what's all night. that? And it, yeah, it just, it just blew my mind, but every, Every single sip is literally a heady, a heady aroma yep. taste. So that's it's not even a burst. It's no, like no, it's, no. It's, it's it just, isn't a burst. It's permanently there. It's just that you've got a kind of, there's a sweet bitterness through the gin, neat, but then you've got this kind of sweet aroma coming through, but a taste aroma. You know when I would say to you guys, it tastes like the smell of, and this is what it, it does. It actually does. I mean, you you feel, when you drink this, you feel like you're smelling it yeah. as well as tasting it, right? And the smell, we, the smell isn't intense at all. We've got jasmine growing in the garden, and if we walk past a house that's got it in the front garden and stuff, I always say to him, smell it, smell it, smell it. Yeah. But yeah, right. Let's try it with a tonic, indeed. So, let's give it a try. Cheers. 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 Oh. Oh, so that's just back beautiful. Memories. It's so it's sweet. So when you taste it neat, there's there's a kind of element of bitterness for it, but floral. And then once it's mixed with tonic, um, that bitterness kind of goes it's away. It's very sweet. Slight citrus in there, not not too not kind of sickly sweet. Yeah, not heavy on the citrus. It's it's that floral sweet. It's that it's that heady mm. aroma again of, of jasmine. Um, 
at such a good gin. It's not atypically floral though, because it's only one, one floral in there, it's not kind of bursts of this, that and the other. It's just, no, you just get consistent. that. Yeah, consistent. Consistent, definitely. But, but to me, it's like, it's, it's just beautiful. It's yeah. beautifully rounded. And I think as well, the price point is phenomenal. For the gin yeah. you get, it's absolutely yeah. phenomenal. They also do another one here that's with um, mandarin as well, mandarin and jasmine. Um, and we yeah. haven't tried that at all. We haven't tried that. We've got it, we, we bought it. Um, we haven't got it. Let's have a look. Let's get it out there. So there you go. That's it for all you guys at home to see. For anyone that thought that was an empty box. Yeah, it's not an yeah. empty box. Yeah, so um, this isn't our first bottle of this one. We've, <laughs> we've had many, many bottles of this one. Mm. We haven't tried this one yet, but we will at some point. It's but we wanted to try it on taste. camera. Yeah, um, it's like we said, it's 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 a beautiful kind of heady aroma of um, of jasmine, and it's just for for me, it just brings back all these kind of memories of summertime, being in the garden, being away, and you can kind of smell those jasmine when you're walking through like the streets. During lockdown was a prime example. Mm. During the summer, we were we were doing lots of walking, weren't we? Yeah. And we'd go for, can you smell it? It's like, yeah. Can you smell the jasmine? Then we'd see it and we'd go and smell it. And this just, it just took us back to this gin. And it's, it's lovely. It's a gin that we'll always have on our shelves. Mm. And before our collection got to the size it was, this was in my top three easily, yeah. right? We don't have, like, it's, it's very hard when people ask us, what's your, your favorite gin? We don't have one favorite gin at all. No. We have a selection of gins because they all have different tastes, right? Uh, there's some that are way up there. Um, this is definitely in my top 10. I, uh, until something comes along that shoves it out of the way. Um, this is a great gin. This was this was like the first moment we tried this. Yeah. Uh, definitely I, when I tried it, I thought this is one of the best gins I've tasted. It is a great gin. It really is. Um, it will always be with us, uh, definitely. When, when we got served this, I went kind of crazy. I was like, what is that? What have you put in it? <laughs> like, it's this. I was like, no, but what else have you put in it? And they're like, nothing, it's this and tonic. And I was like, really? I was like, but where are all those kind of floral flavors coming from? Surely you must have put something else in. Mm. I actually thought there was a liqueur or something else that had been put in there just because of the, the kind of, the beautiful, beautiful flavor that was coming through. And I think they've kept it simple because they haven't tried to overpower And you like that, you like less, yeah. less botanicals and things in, yeah. in your gin, you t tend to like that. But uh, yeah, this, this is a good classic. I really, really like it. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it, it is, it is such a good tasting gin. Mm. Um, definitely have that on our shelves. <laughs> as long as they keep on manufacturing it. Forever, forever. Yeah. Um, it's one that we, when people come into our gin room um, that we, we'd like to try them with. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's really, really good. I think we should score it. Yep, I think we should. Ooh. What will it be? I don't know, I'm gonna try. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. Really? Ooh. Right, I'm ready. Mm. So am I, go. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, don't you swear, <laughs> don't swear. Wow. Ah. Yeah, for me, are you annoyed now? <laughs> it's mine. Actually, we've got another bottle over there. I nearly got a swear <laughs> one. We nearly got banned from YouTube then. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, for me, it's, it is, it is one of my favorite gins. It's it's beautiful. I just can't get over the way that they've got that kind of jasmine in. Stop smirking at me with your weird face. Um, that they've got that kind of, they've nailed it. They've nailed it with that jasmine in there for me. It is beautiful. It's absolutely brilliant gin. beautiful. Brilliant gin. So well balanced. Perfect little kind of elements of citrus in it and neat and there's, there's a nice kind of citrus element for it. Um, I really want to try that. I really want to try that. We will do that very soon. We'll yeah. do that very, very soon. But I think for the price point, if you haven't tried yeah. this gin, you need to try it. It's really good. For the price point, I don't think there's anything for that price that comes anywhere near it. That's a very powerful statement At to all. make. Ever. Right, I, it, I think- It's it, a definite yeah. must try. 
right? You've yeah. definitely got to try it. Uh, if you're ever over here, we'll let you try some. Yeah. yeah. Come in. <laughs> Have a gin or two or three <laughs> or ten. <laughs> All right. Do your bits. Right. Don't forget to like and, like and subscribe. Well, I've got Drop us a left. comment. If you have tried this, really do let us know. Right. We want to make sure we're not on our own on this. I'm empty. And we're tough. Right. Tough. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I'm empty.